What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I was just eating some smart food white cheddar popcorn. Just delicious. Just delicious. What do we got here? This guy. This guy. This guy. A lot of eight mana creatures here. I think I'm taking Gristlebrand. I haven't taken Gristlebrand that much. Oh, now we're taking DAC. If you're going to pass us a DAC, I ain't looking back. Passing me DAC? Don't look back. Oh, and a Consecrated Sphinx. Okay, so you're just basically saying, take all of your favorite cards, dummy. That's pretty good. If Ancestral Vision comes back, that'd be cool. Well, after picking a deck and a Consecrated Sphinx, we're likely not trying for Mono Black. Also, Mono Black isn't great in Vintage Cube. There's no Mono Black archetype. I mean, there's no, like, Grey Merchant or, you know, Phyrexian Obliterate or anything, so... Mono deck. Spencer Carlson, I love you, buddy. I did see you. Oh, Creeping Tar Pit? Him to Torach. Yes, you guys you guys pronounce it Torach or Torach? Which one is it? Who knows? It's Torach. Everybody knows that. I mean, Zealous, him, and Creeping Tar Pit all very good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take this because I want to be able to cast the spells I have so far. Followed by a Demir Signet. Oh, we're living the dream. Oh, Steam Vents? This is our best life. I got like two more bites of this popcorn, so. And we're done. Mmm. This gets a Steam Vents. This, however, is good. We're going to take the Wooded Foothills. I ain't going to pass a fetch land that already gets a steam vent, so. Tura. <laughs> Him to Tura. <laughs> okay. Okay. Huh. I mean, honestly, I can see arguments for Bitter Blossom, Flame Tongue, and Shriek Maul. I like Bitter Blossom because it does leave us open for several things like Recurring Nightmare and um, what's that other dude? Fallen Shinobi. I hate this card so much, but I'm going to take it because it's the only reasonable card in this pack for us to actually play. I don't need a Scrubland. Hmm. Eh, we'll just take Ophiomancer here. Okay, now we're getting like good white cards, though. Oh, Lava Claw came back? Deal. Bet, as Michael B. would say. And Clamps. Yeah, this is actually, with Bitter Blossom and Ophiomancer, it's actually a pretty reasonable Clamp deck right now. One time I was whistling and someone in the in the YouTube comments was like, please don't whistle. I'm not into ASMR. And I was like, okay, but it's not a, but it's not meant to be that. So it's like, yeah. It's like, I'm going to take this Ancestral Recall, guys. And we got a bunch of things that can come back. Night's Whisper. I'll play a Cosima. Is it Signet? Fallen Shinobi with Snake is also pretty good because you can just bounce a Snake token. It's going to get through because they're not going to want to block the Snake token. And then you could be like, oh, get another Snake token. I also don't think Gilded Lotus is even terrible here because it fixes our mana, but also, like, 
it lets us just pull, like cast Gristlebrand. <laughs> taking taking recall so controversial, so brave. I think a braid phantasm. All right, I guess that answers that. Guess we're taking the phantasmal image. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Well, all right then. Question was answered. I think Liliana is the only card I really care about here. Especially with a Grizzle Brand, we could find a way to discard that guy. Especially we have we can go Dak, discard Grizzle Brand, Liliana, get back Grizzle Brand. There's the recurring nightmare and the skull clamp in the same pack. Oh dear. Plus a scarab god. This pack has it all going on. I bet Skull Clamp tables. I think Scarab God might be the best card here. This pack is actually banging. I would take one, two, three, four, five. I would take six cards out of this pack. I think Scarab God is stronger than than the other ones. Is it? I mean, I think one card is definitely coming back from this. I think people don't. I think people don't give a shit about Recurring Nightmare. I'll take Marsh Flats. We're hoping to get a, a land that Marsh Flats, that turns on Marsh Flats. So, could have taken Kiki Jiki, and then we'd have Deceiver Exarch. What an A Aaron I am. You can take me anywhere. Mm -hmm. I think it still might be Deceiver Exarch in case that the dude tables. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, Shatter Skull Smashing is just fine. That's a freebie. Eh, Spire Bluff is okay. Agadim's Awakening is interesting. It's like, it's also in my queue, but like, I feel like there's not a ton of archetypes that really even care about it. This guy gets Ophiomancer, Phantasmal Image, Deceiver Exarch. That's pretty much it. I think I'd rather just have the land here. <coughs> Here he came. Okay, so literally none of the cards I pointed out came back. That's unfortunate. Do we have anything we can? We have Marsh Flats to get a white for Nahiri. Bone Shredders ready. I'm going to take the Nahiri. I'd rather have Nahiri than Unburial Rites. Okay, a braid's good. This is really weird. I guess Angrath's on making is fine. Well, again, none of the cards I wanted came back. That's fucking brutal, dude. Who's taking Skull Clamp and like... Oh, man. This is wild. Like, Choops, Recurring Nightmare, and Skull Clamp are all gone out of that pack? Seriously? Why are, like, all these white cards, man. <sighs> Good grief. You ever feel like you take the right first four, four or five picks and then they just dry up and you're like, oh, well... This is interesting. Teferi and Treachery are, are interesting here. I mean, these are probably the two best cards in the pack, I think. I think Treachery is going to be better. I'm going to take the Treachery. Oh, what up, Matthew, the Cyclismo? Na, 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 na. Oh, Ashiok? I think we're just taking Ashiok here. Yeah, we're taking Ashiok here. Oh, Scalding Tarn is a banger. Flooded Strand is also a banger. I think Flooded Strand might be better because it gets us a Plains, but it also gets us Steam Vents. Yeah, we're going to take Flooded Strand. Or do we take Valky because Valky's a cool dude? Hmm. All right, we're going to take Flood Strand. 
Oh, we only have 15 playables, so that's good. We really need more playables here, guys. Chandra's pretty sweet. So is Tefri, so is Golos, so is Wormcoil. I mean, if we're playing white, we can bring in, like, Elspeth, Day of Judgment, Disenchant. We actually have a lot more playables if we're, bringing, if we're playing white. Also, Golos lets us kind of... Let's... I do like Chandra, though. Let's take a Golos. That's for Super Fritz. Ooh, let's take a Plateau. We can get it with Flooded Strand, Marsh Flats, and Wooded Foothills. Oh, that's banging. Oh, Blood Crypt is also good. Jeez. Um, okay, so I think we're going to bring in Elspeth Conquers Death, Day of Judgment, Disenchant. Maybe not Disenchant. Uh, I don't really want to have double blue on turn two. Our deck is not super heavy blue, so... I think we're just taking Blood Crypt. Again, we can get it with two of our fetch lands. So that's pretty nice. I mean, I'll take a four drop that's double blue. That's pretty cool. Um... We don't need to use it on turn two, sure, but like in the late game, I feel like our mana is going to be taken up. Like we're going to play on turn four, we're going to play on turn five, we're going to play on turn six. Like I think Venser is good. Yeah, let's take Venser. Wow, that's a late course of portal. For sure, I will be taking that. Oh my god, this Tefri came back? What? Holy smokes, how on earth? Oh wow, Sea Chrome Coast? Um, I think I'm for sure in for a Sea Chrome Coast here. I don't think we're in for a Concealed Courtyard, though. I kind of don't hate a Massacre Worm just to have it. Oh, the Chandra came back that I wanted. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. This is a lot of super friends. We have three of the best three mana planeswalkers. So one, two, three, four, five. Pretty decent. Ba -na 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 -na. Phyrexian Phallus. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? I actually did not refill my drink at the last break, so I'm looking real stupid. I went to the bathroom and I got the bag of chips. Ch -ch 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 chips. Actually, I don't even hate Blade Splicer. That's actually pretty decent. I mean, this is a four color monstrosity for sure, but. Are we a Gristlebrand deck anymore? Maybe not. We only have nine creatures. Oh, we're not a Deceive Rex Arc deck, that's for sure. I can cut that stupid idiot. I almost don't mind Angress Rampage, just a, a nice way to deal with early things. I mean, keep in mind, we have both Dak Faden, uh, Nahiri. Like, we have ways to get Gristlebrand into the graveyard and then reanimate it with, like, Liliana or Elspeth Conquers Death or Scarab God. So I really, you know, I don't think. Well, first off, main board is not a real thing. I've never heard of a main board before. Uh, if you're referring to the main deck, uh, we already have a Braid, so I'm not super interested in Disenchant. I think a Braid does a good job. We also have Angrass Rampage, which gets an artifact. So, I mean, if we if we see enchantments, we'll definitely bring this in, but I don't think we need to, to, to start it. It can sit on the bench here. 
It's funny because I used to have I have I used to have main board and side deck uh, as banned terms, and then Tano's came in and he was like, "Why are these banned?" And I was like, oh, "Dang it!" And he un he unbanned them as a mod, and I was like, "All right." Our mana base looks pretty decent. Lands we can get are this guy, this guy, and this guy, which is pretty nice. That covers all of our colors. I only talk about them when people bring them up, so. I think Lyra's fine. I just I don't think she's better than any other five drops right now. Could you win with a deck of all ancestral recalls and islands? I don't think so. Maybe. I mean, because you could always go like ancestral you draw three, ancestral you draw three, ancestral me draw three, ancestral you, ancestral you, ancestral me. And eventually, like, if they can't race that then they're going to deck, but you're also giving them like access to all the, all the cards in their deck. Well, milling them. Yeah. Milling them is the only strategy I can imagine. I mean, we could potentially bring in like one forest because we have wooded foothills and Golos, but I'm not even sure that's worth it. Anyway, this deck is oof. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so red we have one. Flood strength can get a red, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Black, we have one, two, three. Flood of shrimp. Get a black? It might not. No, I don't think we have white, black. Flood shrimp doesn't get a black. That's rough. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's low. We're gonna have to go up to at least seven there. Blue, we have one, two, uh, uh, oh, God, no again. Right? I'm not going crazy, right? No, one, blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. White, we have one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're cutting you going up to here. So seven, eight, eight, nine. That seems good. Oh, it's also 41. Shit. Dang it. <laughs> oh, biscuits. I'm actually going to take the mountain out. I really don't care about having one mountain here. We have eight sources without a mountain. Don't wait up because I won't be home. Oh, no, we're not cutting. We're not cutting Gristlebrand. There's no reason to do that.
And we have tons of filtering in this deck. We have Nahiri, we have Dak, we have Course of Portal, we have Chandra. We have tons of ways to get through our deck. So, like, I'm not too worried about Crystal Brand either. A, being in my hand. Or B, being a card we can't just get back with the three cards I already mentioned multiple times. We can even Nahiri if we plus two twice. Like, we can just Gristle Brand him into play, attack for seven, draw seven, put him back in our hand. Like, I mean, we have tons of interactions with Gristle Brand. This is a 17 lander. We have a Strider Skull Smashing. We're not playing 16 lands with this deck. <laughs> that would be a little ambitious. Oh boy, I'm just gonna. All right, time to play against Storm. I got an ancestral recall. What are they gonna do against that? Nothing. Um. We'll give it a shot. And I'm actually wishing I took that Scrubland now. Scrubland would be so good. We can get it with Marsh Flats, Flooded Strand. I guess that's it. But still very good, obviously. This feels like a Steam... No, we already have. It's probably just Blood Crypt. Oh, okay. Seems good. So now we have double red. Oh, I like that. Let's splice some blades. I can't get Blood Crypt with that. Oh, I can't get a Black Source at all. That's pretty rough. I don't think it's Steam Vents. I, I think it's just... We have two double... Yeah, we're just going to get another Planes. We have two double white cards in our hand. I was going to say, on the bright side, I'm not too scared about Plateau Copper Line Gorge. The classic Storm Plateau Go. Uh, Copper Line Gorge. I'll metamorphose and brain freeze you. Oh no. But the why? Oh, B pod. More like beef pod, am I right? <laughs> You're very much wrong. Very much incorrect. Well, let's just add, let's just exile something. It's going to be Gristle Brand. You ready? Oh, dang. We don't even have a black source, so I'm not too worked up about it. I'm just going to attack with this guy. If they have Bloodbraid Elf, I don't really want to lose my, not lose, but I don't want to get my Chandra knocked out. Playing pod on turn three with no creatures in play sums up my exact feelings on birthing pod in this in, in this format. Especially when they have birthing, they play birthing, they play solemn simulacrum on turn four and don't have the mana to activate their birthing pod. Huh. So, I'm pretty sure we actually go at, oh wait, we're one blue shy. I kind of like Elspeth Conqueror's Death on Birthing Pod. Hmm. The problem is we don't have seven mana, we have six mana. So we can't play Elspeth and Phantasmal Image 
and we don't have double blue so we can't go teferi into phantasmal image either so you know kind of awkward kind of an awkward uh kind of an awkward sitch just trying to figure out what the biggest threat here is I don't think we care about whatever they get. Like, if they get a Golos, that's fine. I'd rather Elspeth conquers that the Golos. I'm, I'm also considering just, like, shooting this. Like, they draw a card, but I think that's actually fine. Okay, we're probably going to play that, because we are needing lands. Actually, what do we got? One, two, we can do four... I mean, they're going to sack this guy anyway, so there's no real point to, like... Um, let's just play it as a land. Play him as a land. Uh, again, we'll just keep a, a thing. And we're at a point where Chandra could just take things over. So they're just anguished on making my Chandra. Okay. Still no black source, which is uh, not great, Bob. They're at seven. Yeah, sure. I mean, put them to three here. Seems safe, I guess. Okay, sure. Oh, boy. So we know they have a birthing pod in hand. And that's pretty much all we know. That's pretty good. I will definitely copy that with Phantasmal Image and try to kill you. Would have liked a land that came into play untapped to complete our kill you goals. No, I guess this costs three, right? I always think it's two. It's three. I kind of have to get rid of this PN Kieran LR, right? Because that thing is going to kill him. <laughs> well, well, well. This is interesting because now we actually have a creature for Elspeth Conquer's death, so. 
Um, if we shoot this, they just shoot us back. Let's just go face, right? Because they're at two. <laughs> That's how that works. Oh, they could do it with Nahiri, though. Oh, no. Maybe they won't see it. Fingers crossed. Oh, dang it. They saw it. So good at this game. Well, they're outside of being able to use any Phyrexian mana now, so. I mean, they they can't, yeah, like, well, no, I don't want to bounce because we have, oh, they can shoot, though. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. The problem is if we bounce this, they actually sack it to shoot our Thopter. But then we actually have two. Yeah, all right. Let's let's do this. Let's see if this works. Because then they're tapping mostly out. Okay, so my flaw here is that I don't have a second black to activate this. I thought I did, and then I was going to attack with both. So, you know, not the best. Yeah, I guess we'll just Scarab God here. No, we did not draw a card with Teferi. If we bounce this and they shoot one of our attackers, then they have neither. Yeah, I think Bounce P and Karen L R was lethal, correct? See, it's like sometimes I get so caught up in the game where I'm like, I don't want to bounce this because then they get to replay it. And then I, I kind of lose sight of the fact that there's no future game after that point. It's, it's, oh, they discarded. I was like, what? Did they just crack this? I wonder what five drop they're going to get here. Assuming they play pod activate. <laughs> Must be nice. Aggressive at one. You've activated both planeswalkers. <laughs> so fucking good. Okie dokie. How do we win with black mana? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. All right. I mean, I, I was thinking like, well, I can't activate Scare God, so that's pretty good, I guess. And they're tapped out, eh? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. 
This is one time where chat was like, this is how you do it. And I was like, oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't immediately see that. Oh, man. Whew, Lava Claw reaches. Giving me that reach is what they're doing. Uh, nasty, now we're bringing in the Distant Chant. I think I think we'll have Norn instead of Gristlebrand here. Chat love, give us free merch. <laughs> Buddy. Maybe. I'm gonna take the Golos out for now. Big Teeth? <laughs> Triple Black seems a little rough. Oh, I like I like Bitter. Yeah, this is good. This is good. We can get a... Wish we had a white red. Oh, we can get a Plateau. Oh, that's banging. We are going to keep this up. So we, when we get a Plateau, we can, might be... We're going to also keep up Angra's Rampage on turn two if we really need to do that. I think they got a counter. This doesn't strike me as a counter deck. Really need more to drink. After this match, I'm going to go refill my drink. So you guys better get ready. Be prepared. Oh, see, now we want to anger us rampage. It's beautiful. Na, 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 na. We don't have a second white or a second black here, which is pretty discouraging. Again, Scrublands. God, would have been so OP, dude. It's really got like Deceiver X Arc, and they're like, gonna kill you. And I'll be like, oh no. I guess we'll find out. Find out next time on Franker Z. You know, like the Cosima. Interesting. Hm. It's your boy or girl. I kind of like Ashok here when they have no pressure. Because next turn we can actually play Chandra and Ophiomancer, which I think is a little bit better of our... Ooh, what did we get? A Thalia? A Thraben Inspector. Oh, I like that. It's your nine but non-binary creepy spirit thing. <laughs> See, that's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. I mean, when they go Imperial Recruiter and Okosima, I'm kind of like, eh. You got it. I mean, this is just an instant block for me. Oh, they didn't even, oh, they hit a land. I was like, they didn't even hit a land drop? But they did hit a land drop. I'm going to keep exiling. What are we hitting here? We got a pernicious deed and four lands. Good gravy. Red, red. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Big torchy. And big old snake boy. It's your snake boy. What did they get rid of this with? Anguished on making? But I mean, like now they have like, now we have two planeswalkers. So we're kind of anguished on making proof, if you will. I 
I've never seen someone leave Cosima and play the turn after they, they put it into play. That's not a thing that anyone has ever done. I'm at the top of the world. I have this Juliana Theory song stuck in my head that I haven't heard in like 20 years. And then it came on a playlist on Spotify and now it's just stuck in my head forever. So many counters. Okay. So they played Flooded Strand, Crack Flooded Strand. Like we've, they have at least four fetch lands, which is pretty good with Cosima, I would say. Did you get the Cosima Gorm? Not yet, but I did submit it yesterday. So usually they're real good about it. I'm sure I'll hear something about it in the next today or tomorrow. The next today or... Oh, Time Walk. That's nice. That's juicy. And she's going to vanish again. Maybe. Maybe not. No. She will garner, don't you even, don't you even start, buddy. How dare you? Hmm. Let's see. You hit one anguish on making. And a kitchen fix. And a Yorion. Okay. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm just going to block here because we get another one back. I mean, I'm very tempted to wrath the board here. We'll see what happens. Whew. Six, seven, we have eight total mana. Too shy. They also have nine cards left in their library. What do we hit? A Ramunap Excavator and two more lands. Let's play this and we'll plus Chandra to see what we hit. Love Claw Reaches. Hmm. I feel like it's just black here. We're playing this first because it's just good and we have infinite blocks for Niv Mizzet, so they're probably going to anguish on making our Ashiok. They could also anguish on making Consecrated Sphinx, which leaves our two Planeswalkers alive. I don't really care if they Niv again. They have nine cards. So. Yep. That's what we figured. Mm -hmm. Plus, if they want to play Yorion, I'd rather be able to wipe the, wipe the board. <laughs> wipe the board when they have a Yorion out. Dang it. Dang it, Shua Garner. Oh my god, it's snowing again. This state never stops. Thankfully, Niv Mizzet does not have trample. The mood is right. It is Teferi. Teferi can't bounce planeswalkers. So that's cool. <sighs> I 
I mean, they're at eight cards, yeah, so we can definitely go Ashiok, put them to five cards. Okay. For God's sake, he couldn't get Planeswalkers. Yeah, he's not that good. Wow, that would be insane. <laughs> Devery's like, bounce your Planeswalker. And you're like, oh, God. Um, let's keep exiling. Oh, what did we get? An Omnath? That's beautiful. Um, We could wipe the board, then play Chorus of Portal. We could also attack... Tefri to probably kill him. I guess they, they have a Cosima, so that's not going to happen. Tefri would take three, though. Here I go exiling again. <laughs> oh, man. Pogan Law after your... Law Pogan. Thank you. After your... Uh, I, I always get the Pogans confused. I'm never sure if it's... If it's Lol Pogan or uh Lake Pogan? No. Lake Jogan? Lake Jogan. Okay. We did it. We figured it out. See you in quotes, welcome back. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I'm just I'm not sure if I wanna I think we're just gonna go exile the top card. They used Anguished on making already. That was an island. Man, we're just, just doing it. One, two, three, four. So we know they have Yorion and Kitchen Finks in hand. We're gonna put Tefri to three here because if they want a negative Tefri, then they just lose him. So I didn't want to attack with one more because if they have any answer to these, then our planeswalkers are threatened and they can both ultimate next turn. So Music Manly, what up, buddy? I've been off Twitch for a bit. Nice to catch man, good seeing you, my dude. I haven't seen Music Manly in 40 years. It's been closed. Brainstorm, but you got one card in your library. Oh, you dead. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're alive. I mean, if Ashok survives, they're dead. That's really what's coming down. What's coming down to here. Yep, so there was an answer. They have two cards in their library. Um, I'm just double blocking here. Because I don't think we're winning by life totals. So, Oh, and that's the end. That, that did it. That did it. All right, let's do it. Four Seconds of Snow is one of my favorite bands. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, yeah, this seems good. Oh, no. Uh, yep, keep. Okie dokie. Thanks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Avison's Polygram. I mean, this could be a deck where having a Wrath of God and a Day of Judgment could be very good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five. They'll have six mana. I kind of want to just take them off of this.
Okay, a lot of nerds. Second Wrath is definitely coming in. I have nothing to do. But we have two of everything, right? Mm. If we play Plateau, we have double blue, double white, double red, double black. Plateau is actually the perfect land here. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven mana. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. <laughs> You're getting slow rolled. Am I being slow rolled? Okay, that's not a slow roll. Oh, <laughs> I think playing this to make them sacrifice the Garrick is probably better because next turn we can treachery something. And uh, I guess we can also just activate Tar Pit and not even waste this, right? Like that's a good, that's also a play that we can make. Well, that's a better use of mana and a better use of cards, man. I mean, they're just going to untap and go... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Crater Hoof for plus five, plus five. Ten here, seven here, and then three here. Be like, dokey dokey. I guess it's a minimum of five. It's just gonna, they're, we're just gonna get Crater Hoof here. And I don't think there was anything we could really have done about it, so. Oh, it's even better, because now they, know they can tap one fewer guys. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Attack, attack, attack. Let's hoof you. There we go. Four, five, six. Oh. Well, that I'm just going to steal. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going to nine. And then we get to put Planeswalkers into play? Oh, boy. Oh, we can actually ultimate Chandra here? Oh, boy. Two, three, four, five. I mean, that's cool and all. We just got to survive. If they had, if they had Crater Hoof, they would have Crater Hoofed us, right? And this could be good. <laughs> Who knows? If they had Crater Hoof, they would have Crater Hoof. They would have Crater Hoof. They can't have Crater Hoof because they would have just Crater Hoofed us. Crater Hoof kills us. Warren Collects doesn't. That's what it comes down to. Crater Hoof kills us. If they didn't Crater Hoof, they couldn't kill us. Brett, shut up! Gah! Music Manly! Ugh! <sighs> God, I'm trying to avoid these situations. I'm trying to reassure myself that it's just not sitting in their hand. It's fine. They don't got it. They like you can't think this long if you have it. I mean, you're definitely killing Chandra, but the the damage is done. Okay, so 
Chandra, me, me. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't this deck have Ancestral Recall? I ain't seen that card. We are in the Matrix. That's why I was predicting that they don't have it so that I could will that that potential future into existence. Oh, good. We're playing a, a, a further, a, a second six mana thing. Okay, seems good. Seems like a lot of things on your board. Oh. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, I guess we're back in the Matrix again. I can cast two spells here. I could also just nug a bunch of their friggin' banana heads. Um, choose a player. Myself. How much? Did, oh, did they did they spend six for this and they got three counters? That's pretty cool. I need you to register these powers with the government. Oh man. Uh, Rampage would also no. Rampage is going to make them sacrifice Mana Crypt, unfortunately. Come on, Music Manly. Don't forget about the Mana Crypt, buddy. I'm not sure if I go face. I think I got. I think I got a. I think I got to deal with the board first. But if I draw like two more, there's not even two more playable spells in my deck. But if I draw Wrath of God, I think this is just safer. The emblem's not going anywhere. Oh man, Venser seems pretty decent here. We could go Venser, Bounce, Gargaroth, Shoot, Bird or something. Actually seems really good. Kind of like that. We could also play Land, play Blade Splicer, and play Angrath's Rampage. But it doesn't get rid of the Gargaroth for now. Interesting. Bounce this, shoot this. Save Venser to counter hoof. Well, we know they're gonna do that. Well, I'm just gonna play Lava Claw and pass here. Because having this secret like 10 damage in hand seems pretty good, especially if they lose two flips in a row. <gasps> One flip down. If they go into combat, we can bounce the Gargaroth. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm going to shoot your face. Not even worried about your things. Bounce this stupid dude. This is a song I wrote. So now we have two spells to play. Which is ten damage. And then they die to the flip if they... They could make a, they could make a food, though. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what's happening. I think they're definitely making a food. They're like, shit, we're getting close. Oh, that's not food. Oh, none of this is food. Oh, God. Oh, they leveled instead of making a food? Oh, dear. What does that do? Copies. Ve oh, we just win, right? Like, we just go ping, ping, ping. One, two, three. Yeah, this is this is the end. This is the end. And then we have, well, well, yeah. Shoot your face. Wow. Thanks for the Vorinclex and the Chandra emblem. This is why I put Vorinclex in my queue. I thought he was just a, a fat, dirtily idiot. But turns out. Yeah, I'll copy Gargaroth. 
Uh, sack a creature, my dude. Nah, JK, you don't have a chance. <laughs> oh, that would have been good. Doesn't matter. We won the game. It would would have been bad because it was a game that we won. Day of Judgment, you can come in. Massacre, Massacre and Eleshnorn are both coming in. So is Lyra. We're literally going to tech. We're just literally teching against stupid elf deck. <laughs> Bone Shredder, you're you're probably better than Rampage. Oh, this does kill Planeswalkers, I guess. Uh, I mean, this seems pretty good as is. Oh, ah, I wanted to add more black, but. It's probably fine. I think we have like eight, 18 black, eight black sources. This is great because we can get a steam vents. This is 41. We're not having 42. What are you crazy? Okay. Well, we're definitely killing that. Oh boy. Right out the gates. Oh, I'm going to be out the gates too in a second. Are they going to play turn two Vorinclex? That would be impressive. And they won the flip. Some guys have all the luck. I don't know if we have four turns to play around the god, man. It's not looking good. Uh, okay. Fetch land. Okay. So this is one, two, three, four, five. They did nothing with it. I really want a second. Oh, we got a plateau. I was like, man, I want a second white, but I also need a red. Plateau. Wow. Fetch lands and dual lands, man. It's just like the dream. What are we abrading? Worn Power Stone, right? Like, that's just a better. They didn't have anything to do with the mana last turn. Plus, like, our Day of Judgment is going to get rid of the the Lotus, the Codus Lobra. Codus Lobra, not to be confused with Pogan Lol. Lol Pogan? I always get them confused. Man. Because his name is Logan Paul, not Paul Logan. So, like, it's, like, backwards on every metric. Oh, dear. Um, give me this thing. I don't want to just take... I don't want to take eight more damage and go to three. So... Wolfgang Golfway. <laughs> You know, it's one of those things where I'm like, I feel like that's a thing, but I've never heard that before, so. Okay, what are they doing here? Wow, this is just mono mana. What's happening right now? Hunter's at, ah. I don't know if you guys heard it. Um, One, two. We definitely should have waited because now we're going to draw Lava Claw Reaches and feel real bad about having played just a basic swamp. Okay, Marsh Lots. I mean, this is nice because our hand is so live right now. We have Elspeth Conquers, Death, Eleshnorn. They have yet to lose a single flip, so that's good. I'm almost tempted to just play um, Wrath of God next turn. See if they play any creatures. Oh my god, dude. Fuck, what turn is this? Six? And they play this on turn one, so they've, they've won five flips in a row. Man... I'll be honest, I'm kind of tempted to block to keep Tefri alive. Except I can't because we don't have any land we can get with this, so... 
they have three cards in hand. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Wrath of God is just worth keeping Tefri alive here. Like we have a second Wrath, we have Elspeth and Alesh Norn. Oh god, we're gonna They're gonna play some That's fine. I'm glad we didn't play Coercive Portal now. Jeez. I'm definitely I'm definitely getting rid of Dak Faden with Elspeth Conqueror's death though. MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Um, let's get a blood crypt. Crypt in blood. Oh, that's actually good. I like that because now we can play this. We have a second blue now. Second blue gives us access to Consecrated Sphinx. It's, we're getting to play this on a turn where we didn't need the mana anyway. And uh, we got to get rid of the deck, so... Our hand is pretty stacked right now. Any land also lets us play Aleshnorn. Three years, MTG Pyro, man, thank you. 36 months is wild. That's like longer than I've been alive. I see. Is there anything we didn't bring in that could deal with that better? Angrass Rampage is definitely coming back in now. Possibly Fate's Fetters as well. Oh, man. They saw the line. Why aren't you a creature? Dang it. So the problem is if we play this, they just negative six. And then they get both of these. I don't really want that. I think we're just going to play portal here. Because portal also gives us mana. And if they, if they hit us again with... Uh, look, they still haven't lost a flip, dude. Oh my god, they lost their first flip on turn eight. Seven, one out of seven flips they've lost. Uh, I'm not too concerned with, with swinging with Tar Pit right now. Like, Right, but the point is, I don't want them to get rid of my Sphinx. Right? Like, that's the point. And if they neg six, that's fine. I can get rid of it. I'm not, I'm not worried about getting rid of this right now. If they plus it to 11, I can still hit it with this and go down to eight. Plus now we're getting multiple cards. We get back Tefri with this. So, I mean, we, we have options here. Sure. <laughs> I miscounted my mana. Well, I mean, I'll definitely treachery this thing. That's not really a... Um... Eh, carnage. <laughs> oh, they didn't want a carnage. Okay, let's get back Teferino. Extra loyalty. So we got one. Let's bounce the stupid snake. I th oh, we can't bounce the snake. I guess we're stealing the snake. Untapping. One, two, three... I have one card in hand.
or an untapped grim model if i'm presuming yeah sure Hmm. One, two, three, four. I think we just played. God, Bitter Blossom is a little scary here. Um, fudge. One, two, three, four. Activate this, and then we only have. This is unfortunate. I mean, this needs the, the problem is if we play Chandra here next turn, we can actually use this for six, which would kill Ugin, but they're going to ultimate it next turn, I would imagine. So we do have to actually spend our turn creeping tar, creepy tar pitting to make sure that doesn't happen. And I'm pretty sure that's all we can do. So. Oh, one flip again. Eight out of nine flips have been won. <laughs> That's insane. Uh huh. I mean, I have Grim Monolith, which you're going to play with, with that. Oh, good old-fashioned harmonized. That's a thing. Unfortunately, they have one mana left over, so that's okay. Oh, they negative threed. You know what? Let's carnage again. See if they accidentally hit it. That's interesting. Not hitting lands here is, is, is kind of frustrating. This is divided evenly. Oh, what a frustration. So then we take four. But we get Ugin off the board. We could also Shatter Skull Smash and kill this and the Pilgrim. Take one. That might actually, that's actually probably better. Oh, it's divided evenly, isn't it? Uh, divided as you choose. Yeah, that seems fine. We could also DAC and... Yeah, let's actually do that. That's I feel like that's going to be... Uh, we cannot Chandra plus Tar Pit. That is not a real thing that exists. <laughs> Uh, three and one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take some off two mana as well. Days. All right. That's actually pretty decent then. Once the Ugin's gone, I'm feeling a little better. I mean, we can play Chandra, kill this. Uh, if we draw another land, we can play Dak as well. We're kind of due for a land here.
Okay. Okay. I feel like they're going to play an Elder Gargaroth as well. Oh, okay. Still going to play an Elder Gargaroth. Level up instead. Level up again. Ancient Grudge. Seems good. Do not hate it. One, two, three, four. Shandy. All right. Let's see if you lose another flip. Oh, man. Three flips have been lost. Three out of ten. Thirty percent of the flips. Four more flips than they did. Okay, goose is fine. Okay, then we're we, we're doing it. Uh, we have a Leshnorn. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana total. Well, I'm not playing Bitter Blossom at four life. So we can actually play Consecrated and Ophiomancer. Uh, we do not have enough mana for Norn deck. We only have nine mana, not ten. Otherwise, I would play Elesh Norn Ophiomancer because I think that's actually better. Um, well, oh, no, we can play... Well, so, like, whatever we take, they're just going to tap. So it's not... It's kind of meh. Also tempted to Consecrated Sphinx Ophiomancer. I think that gives us a... I guess they just kill it with. Yeah, Norn clears their board. It also, it kind of invalidates their Garrick. Whereas if I play Ophiomancer, they're just going to kill it. I think it's, I think playing Norn first is correct here. Let's also exile the top and see what we hit. Because we don't need the mana, so. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of like Lyra here, though. They're in top deck mode. Yeah, I'll just take the Lyra. Sure. I mean, plus next turn we can play Norn, clear their board, and attack for seven, which is pretty strong. Could have played Bitter Blossom still. Uh, if they kill this, it puts us in a real awkward spot. So still don't feel like it's worth the risk. We could always play it at a future time if we if we stabilize. Oh, man, they're at eight now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Fucking got to pay the piper, buddy. The rats are coming for their rat debt. Oh, yeah, you make that wolf. They'll all be dead. That's another land. That means now we can play a Leshnor in a three drop. So let's do that. Two, three. Uh, four. One, two. And I think we're gonna... Like, we want a blue and a black, so we're just gonna... I mean, it just doesn't matter. Just play white. Wait. You got it. I mean, I'm not super concerned with lethal at this point. They have one card in hand, and I, I kind of just want to stabilize here. I think our, I think our hand, we're at 11 now, and I think our hand is pretty unbeatable, so. Plus, they do have two foods on board, which is six life. 
So, I mean, you know. Uh, let's go black. Just had a four four and a three three, and call it a day. I think we just I think we just win this game. Okay, woo, two o two o. Have yet to lose a game. What a time to be alive. Um, this is probably a match where we're just going to play Shatter Skull Smashing face down, then play a Braid, then play Ophiomancer, then play this, then play this. Shatter Skull, the Hammer Pass. Had a deck yesterday that finished all my matches 2 0 in a league in under 25 minutes. Was it mono red? Good grief. We're coming to America today. It's going to be a signet. How oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. Put your signet in the... Tr Damn it. <laughs> oh, what a fucking moron. I played Spire Bluff Canal because I was like, oh, so I guess I could come and play tap next turn. I better play it now. And then you know what happened? We drew an Ancestral Recall. What an absolute moron I am. Oh, I like that. Because that says to me, hey, I don't have a counter spell. But maybe I'll find a one mana one. I They did not. Um, Yes, I will discard Ophiomancer. To hit a Scrabble God. I feel like we didn't adequately discuss how stupid my Ophiomancer play was. Can we go into that? Because I feel like I did, I didn't drop the ball. I kind of like that. We need a second white here. So what are we getting? Plateau? Yeah, probably plateau. And I think we're just going to play Portal because it, it puts like a lot of different pressures on them. Now they have to go with Portal, Nahiri on 8, and we have an Ancestral we can still cast here. This is interesting. Oh, they did they like F6 here? We have a lot of cards things. Cards things happenings. I don't understand what's happening right now. I'm just going to discard Wrath. God, no, not being able to search for a green here is rough. They might just kill us, though. They might also just have Splinter Twin, so. They're like, oh, cool. You gave me the easiest opening ever. Yep, that's a good one. I helped them. We can survive just this turn. Oh, oh, I think we're good. Oh my God. We're in combat. We got a block. And then we get to treachery their blight steel, potentially. Really going face here. I mean, you can't kill us. Like that's the, th oh, I guess they are. I mean, like they don't know this guy's is not going to be on the board. So, but we also have Nahiri on the board so we can exile it. 
So I'm kind of confused about what's going on right now. Well, that's no good. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Okie dokie. Ugh. Uh, sacrifice, destroy. Yeah, we have to go homage. Because if we say, if we say carnage and they're like, yeah, I agree to, oh, that's fucking great. Holy shoot. That's insane. Um, exile this dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we need a second black here. So we're going to play black. Uh, sack a creature. Play Big Lils. Mega Zomboy. Let's see if we get let's see if we get a gristle brand in the oh, just a Wrath of God. But okay. I guess that's fine. I don't know, that was a pretty good recovery. Now we don't have to deal, we don't have to worry about Blightsteel because it's exiled. Is this real? Wow. They might just not have anything else good. Eh, it's fine. Um, all right, I'll block here so that Liliana lives. That's kind of weird. Why wouldn't you just go both at Liliana? Oh, because you have a fire ice. Got it. I mean, I still feel like we're actually doing fine. We know they have Inkwell in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight, so we can actually abrade this guy and consecrated sphinx. I think we're just gonna keep the abrade up. I, I'm I'm actively gonna avoid playing islands if I can. We have five cards in hand. We know one is inkwell. That's pretty rough. I will draw two. Oof, it's just a recall again. Their deck seems pretty good. Presumably gonna kill my consecrated sphinx, I would imagine. Or tap tap it down rather. <laughs> that's actually kind of interesting. Wow, that's actually surprisingly decent here. Plus, if we keep this guy tapped down. And we're going to go. Then they can't tap down our guy. Oh, no. Oh, boy. So good at this game. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, 
Spill tapped you. <laughs> oh, Scarab God, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not bad with the Zealous Conscripts and an Inferno Titan. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. We have 10 mana. This is nine. We get one from the, the dragon. Yeah, that's fine. No one cares about that. Let's say Carnage. You want, you want a Carnage with me? Guys, we can cast Gristlebrand. <laughs> that is a thing. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, Gristlebrand, casting Gristlebrand doesn't do much here because then they just, uh, well, they, they tap it down with Inferno Titan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have exactly enough to Scarab God activate, but we can't interact with Frost Titan in any way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, we have blue, black. It's definitely Scarab God. And we're going to play Creeping Tarp because I want to have access to more blue mana, but I don't want to play an island to do so, so. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Uh, clean up, let's discard island. And that's all we have to discard, I guess. Okie dokie. No, I'm going to pass here because we're getting precariously close and I coercive portal is also forcing us to draw on me. Ancestral, I don't think we're going to be hard pressed for cards. I mean, Scarab God, when they have Zealous Conscripts and Inferno Titan in the bin, uh, is pretty reasonable. <sighs> if you copped the dragon, what does that mean? Uh, I have no responses pre-combat, so... You got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't I get to block the Frost Titan with a snake? But then he gets to put all the damage on the snake. Like, we kind of want to deal with the, the stupid dragon, right? Okay, that seemed pretty good, and we have a Scarab God on board? I don't necessarily understand what's happening. Just have one. Just got a cat. What? Oh, okay, sure. I, yeah, okay. I mean, we have ways to deal with such things. I think. Oh, they might have wanted to get rid of Phantasmal Image there. But, like... 
Like, we get another snake here? Chandra, what do you do? Oh man, that would have been that would have been amazing if this guy didn't have the shroud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. This is eight, so we can actually go Chandra into Gristlebrand. Not the worst. Um, so this conscripts doesn't do anything. Goldspan Dragon in front. I mean, like their graveyard is stacked. So we can go red, red, white. This Chandra. Then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. Add two. One, two, three, four. Okie dokie. I mean, this is a hell of a game. They have two cards in hand. Mm, still no. Like, we have Ancestral, we have enough cards in hand. Having to draw a card here with nine cards in our deck means we have about four turns to win the game. Yeah, they win with Cryptic. What are you going to do? Yikes. That's pretty decent. No. 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 Yeah, I mean, venturing the portal is an option. I mean, I wanted to get out of range of, like, I wanted to get Gristlebrand down. Which is also the name of my my hit action thriller gristle brand down. That's totally fine. They no longer have cryptic mana. I'm pretty sure this is like we can just race after once we get gristle brand down and we can attack once. Like we're just actually. We deal seven, they deal seven. It's just a completely different game. Nope. Man, we could have drawn like 10 cards this turn alone. Uh. Yeah, I don't think there's anything they can play here that actually does anything. Okay, but like attacking with this is interesting. Because if they have a lightning bolt, we still die. So we take six. So we're definitely like... I don't think we're blocking with Crystal Brand. I think we're blocking with Scarab God because this is, soaks up six, so we take one here. And we're getting Scarab God back anyway, so I'm not super concerned with this. But I think having a 7-7 seven, seven lifelinker on the board is probably better. Especially when we can just eat this guy. Yeah, homage again. Homageo. Oh, that's probably good. Uh, attack. Uh, you attack a Dariati. Oh, you got costs. You got some things to do? You got some things to do. Shark. Oh, that's actually great for us because we can just bounce this guy. Um, Yeah, one, two... Three, four, Venser. Bouncer, stupid idiot. Because they're definitely killing Doretti here, because that means they just can't get back in Gwilaviathan. Still no. Uh, so you can go one. Two, three. Dak Faden. Steal this. Eh, Shiok. We're probably just going to play Island here. I don't think we're as scared of. 
And doot doot doot. Okay. <laughs> I guess Gristlebrand Consecrated Sphinx Chandra deck Ashiok was uh was too much for you. I understand. So let's bring in Disenchant. Face Fetters actually seems good against Blightsteel, and it's probably better than Wrath of God, especially because they have um Elspeth Conquers Death is great. We can probably cut Liliana. Buddy, I can taste it too. It's happening. Um, do I want just like one day? They just don't have a ton of creatures. Yeah, I think face fetters and disenchant. Like if we face face fetters a blight steel colossus, like it's just fine. And I don't think the blue red deck is gonna have a ton of things to do about it. So, oh yeah, this is a snapperino. Unfortunately, we can't play this, this, and this, and then play this on turn three. So, oh boy. Interesting. Tinker. Jesus Christ. Yep, and we're dead. Good game. Skillful game. Yep. Cool game. Well, now we're on the play at least. It's like it might as well, it might as well, like, it's like it didn't even happen. Like, cool. Day is fine versus Inkwell. Yeah, you're right. It's one of the few things that is okay against Inkwell, actually. Yeah, let's take out Bitter Blossom and bring in one day. Or one Wrath, rather. That does, that seems like it's going to be better than Bitter Blossom here. I mean, being on the play is nice because if they go turn two, Tinker, we can do do something on turn three at least. Yep. I'm just going to play this. We don't have another red. I guess we can get a Blood Crypt with this. Or a Plateau. Okay. So we need a black source. Can't get a blue source. So it's probably just... Now it's probably most definitely Blood Crypt. Oh. Fascinating. Yeah, that guy's not gonna live. I mean, if they had Tinker, they could have went Mountain, Soul Ring, and Tinker. Interesting. I don't think we saw many counterspells from them, so fingers crossed, I guess. Oh, look. My fingers are uncrossed now. Oh, that's fine. I don't care about that. Hmm. Oh, they're just going to discard so they can play like Duretti and then sack Soul Ring to get back. What? Did they think that was going to work? Oh, they just, I think they probably just wanted it in the deck. They actually wanted to discard it so it's in the deck so they can, so they can tinker it here. Yep. Oh, no. I don't know what's going on right now. This is all throwing me for a loop. Just kind of need to hit a second blue, I think. Um, I mean, face fetters is good against the, the fat boy. We're going to get a second black here.
actually kind of just want to put this on like a hanger. Um, probably on the shark, I guess. Because I just, I mean, we're going to take five next turn if they attack with both, putting us to 12. And if they do, like, if they do bring an Inkwell, we can't face Fetters it. And if they do bring in Blightsteel, we're probably just going to bounce it with Venser if we're able to, so. I don't know. This, this match feels a little different because I feel like I'm kind of behind the eight ball here. Interesting. Are they tapping out this turn? They do have Inferno and Frost Titan. One, two. Okay. Why wouldn't you actually just... That's... All right. You know what? Sure. Yeah, Inkwell's the better pick here. Day of Judgment would be insane. You got it. Less insane now. Because now they just sack Soul Ring to get back Inkwell. <sighs> yep. Back into another 2 1. Never fails. Uh, Blood Crypt. I wonder how good your deck feels. It's always a 2 1. <laughs> Land Nahiri. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have the mana in hand. Seven, eight. We take nine. Two, three, four. No, let's. Is there anything we can play for like one mana? Ancestral, so we'll keep up the blue. Yes. <laughs> Rewarded, I guess. Well, I mean, we get to look at five cards. So, you know, if Day of Judgment's in there, it's pretty solid. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I, I still don't know how we're dealing with Inquil. Well, I guess Day of Judgment, but then they just get it back with Duretti anyway. So that's not ideal. All face. Fascinating. You got it. And I'm not worried about activating their shell dock aisle when we're ready, when it's already on. So it's actually not bad. A Teferi here would be nice because then, no, wait, that's not going to do it. Uh, it's Carnage again, man. They didn't want us to Carnage. They were like, nah, bro. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Red, black. Nope, don't do that. Red, black. Sack of Planeswalker.
I mean, if this is an Inferno Titan, we're dead. If it's anything else, we're probably okay. Oh, they didn't activate it? They have no perms? One, two, three. This is four black sources, man. Oh, boy. Well, they're doing it on their turn, not our turn. Okay. They're going face? Okay, so they have Fire, Ice, Lightning Bolt in hand. Or they're just going to Bane Fire us for five? Inferno Titan. And now they're... What the fuck? This is wild, dude. Are we dead? I think we're just dead to Inferno Titan because they had to have that guy. <sighs> Gristle Brand, you don't do shit. I mean, even if we vents or bounce this guy, like. Oh my god. It felt real good. We have to stop this from attacking, and we just can't do it with anything we have right now. We could plus Nahiri. Like, I don't know what we could hit, though. Like, that's the problem. Treachery isn't out. One, two, three. It's still, it's still an out though. No, we only have two blue. It's definitely, it's actually not an out anymore. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks, dude. I guess we could hit a blue. One, two, three. I mean, we have no other options, so it's really deck or bust. Blue mana treachery. <laughs> seems good yep never fails guys 2-1 again thanks for watching really appreciate the support guys hope you guys have a great thing thanks for watching I'll see you next time